I'm the director of Austin Powers. We have a brand new movie that's about a group of women going up against Roger Ailes and the disgusting stuff he did over at Fox News. How'd it turn out? Let's find out. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing Bombshell. This film is about a group of women who decide to take on the Fox News head Roger Ailes and the toxic environment that he presided over at the network. The film stars Margot Robbie, Charlize Theron, Allison Jenny, Nicole Kidman, Mark Duplass, Alice Eve, and it's directed by Jay Roach. Yes, the director of Austin Powers, one of my favorite comedies of all time. I was very curious about this movie. I've seen that Jay Roach is taking on after his good friend Adam McKay took in to these drama sides. It's nice to see that Jay Roach is now jumping on board with that. And Bombshell did truly drop the bomb. And I don't mean drop the ball. It dropped a bomb on me. I found this film to be awesome and in fact it's very informative while at the same time being very energetic and entertaining it does all this all in circles while at the same time not making it too comedic like certain elements that maybe some of adam mckay films have done it's not a satire it truly is telling a story of what's been going about with gretchen carlson and even megan kelly's characters and what happened over this time period of course guys before we get any further into this review if you guys are new here consider hitting that like and subscribe button because i do tons of early movie reviews like this on a daily basis and i want to discuss movies with you so make sure to comment down below and let me know your guys thoughts are you guys excited for this one are you not let's discuss it down below I said bombshell i was not truly anticipating from just the trailers alone but when some early buzz started coming out that this was a great film with fantastic performances i knew i had to see it and the second i saw it i walked out and went yep that was great. A lot of that greatness resides over the performances, which is where I want to mainly start with. And I also must give a major shout out to the whole makeup department. If this film does not win best makeup at the Oscars this year, it will be a crime. The makeup that they put on Charlize Theron to turn her into Megyn Kelly is unlike anything else I have seen in film in a while. They transformed her. In fact, I couldn't even tell that it was her. If I didn't know Charlize Theron was in this movie, I wouldn't have known that was her. That's how good and transformative she was in here. She was a true chameleon. And when we talk about chameleon actors like, say, Jake Gyllenhaal or Joaquin Phoenix, Charlize Theron needs to be mentioned in there because she switches performances like that, and sometimes you could just cannot recognize her. I mean, when you go from Longshot earlier this year to now her playing Megyn Kelly in Bombshell, it's a true achievement of her own right for how great of an actress she is. But one of the other big shout-outs I must give is to Margot Robbie. I I thought it was a crime that she did not win Best Actress the year that I, Tanya came out, but I think this might be her year for Best Supporting Actress. Now, I know Laura Dern was great in Marriage Stories, but Margot Robbie is so great in this movie, and she has one scene in particular that has to deal with her on a phone call with Kate McKinnon that actually brought a sense of tears to my eyes and really hopelessness to what society has done to certain people, and it's truly disgusting to see what Roger Ailes has done and what other people have done about it. And of course, I can't forget to talk about Nicole Kidman. She's always great. I did think there was a little bit more to that was needed to have her in here. I mean, it's Nicole Kidman. You should probably do a little bit more with her. But the way that Jay Roach decided to intersect three different storylines for three different characters and have them all tie in by the middle of the story was particularly very interesting the way that he took it. There are some other developments within the story too that I didn't think were particularly needed for the story, but while added to different elements of what was going on in this whole time. We just give a major shout out to some of the guys in this film. John Lithgow and Mark Duplass are always great when they show up and stuff. And John Lithgow as Roger Ailes is perfection. Like the makeup was great on him but in general he was just perfect in it and Mark Duplass when he shows up in roles like this I just love him as an actor Paddleton earlier this year was so underrated and you definitely should check it out it's over on Netflix right now I mentioned earlier I really liked how informative this film was because while I knew elements of this I didn't know all the deep dives into it and I know some things were a little bit over embellished but it made me intrigued to go check out more into the story and really figure out everything that happened with inside this and Jay Roach's talent as a directing style actually fit into this film very nicely. Now, I did mention to some critics walking out that I actually do wish that a female director would 
directed this movie would kind of get a different glimpse and a gaze into this movie. But that's not a nitpick towards Jay Roach. I think he did a great job directing this film, and I'm actually curious to see what he goes out and does next after this. But that's just kind of something I wanted to mention. Of course, Charles Randolph, the writer of The Big Short, also wrote this movie, and you can definitely feel it. It actually feels like a more cohesive version of some of those other drama biopics that we have gotten in the past, and I like how they organized every single thing that came out in the situation that we're going about this. Before I give you guys my final thoughts on Bombshell, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's discuss it down below. And of course, if you guys are new here, make sure to also go over to Sandwich on Films if you guys are curious on seeing films early. And of course, a big thank you to you for clicking on this video and a big thank you to my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Bombshell dropped a giant bomb on me. Charlize is unrecognizable from her performance to the makeup. Robbie brought tears to my eyes from one scene alone and Kidman gave it her all. This is an enjoyable, crazy, and a showcase for these ladies. It's one of the movies that really is informative while at the same time being energetic and really empowering. I like what Jay Roach told in this story. This is a story that needs to be more out to the public and I'm happy that more people will be able to be informed on everything that went about this. Bombshell's a true surprise for me. The trailers really do not do much for this film. Go support it. Go check it out. Support these ladies and I hope to God the Oscar nominations do go towards them because they deserve it. So with all that said, I'm going to give Bombshell an A-. minus. Let me know what you guys thought on Bombshell. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's discuss it down below. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this video. And of course, until next time, stay classy.